discussion point for many people with family and friends. Well, here's another party stopper. The only people in heaven are and will be Catholics. Let me repeat that and then be clear. The only people in heaven are and will be Catholics. I did not say only Catholics go to heaven. I said the only people in heaven are and will be Catholic. Here's why. Jesus Christ founded the Catholic Church. And for anyone listening who wants to be coy and wiggle around the word Catholic by insisting it means just some vague concept of all followers of Christ, no. The word Catholic refers to those specific followers of Christ united to the Bishop of Rome, period. Jesus established this Catholic Church. He called it my church. He appointed St. Peter the head of his church. He gave him personally charge to feed the flock. The first followers of Christ understood this, acted like it, preached it, lived it, recorded it in sacred scripture, and eventually died for it. Jesus established one church, not many, not even two, one church. That church does not stop existing in eternity. In fact, it is completed in eternity. It reaches its fulfillment and its glory in eternity, and it will be the only church there is. If you and I are in heaven, we will be in this church, this community of believers. The only other community of believers in eternity will be the ones wishing they'd been faithful Catholics. Before the liberals got a hold of the church lexicon, it was very common to speak in these terms. The church on earth was called the church militant, because we are still fighting. The church was also spoken of as being in purgatory, where members were undergoing final purification before being admitted into the church triumphant in heaven. I want to hear a Protestant argue with this, that Baptists who don't believe in the real presence of Christ and Episcopalians who believe homosexuality is perfectly moral and Catholics who insist, because our blessed Lord did, that baptism is necessary for salvation, that all these people are going to sit in heaven together eternally disagreeing on these truths. After all, the Eucharist is either Jesus or it is not. Homosexuality is either moral or it is not. Baptism is either necessary or it is not. There is no disunity in heaven. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. The saints in heaven are totally, completely united in the Trinity. There is no division, just as there is no division in God. There is distinction, as in you in heaven and me in heaven, God willing, but there is no division. So if there is no division, that means there is unity. Well, what's the nature of that unity? It is the confirmation, the final reality of the truth of Almighty God and His precepts and what He taught. And what He taught is passed down and safeguarded and proclaimed in the official teachings of the Catholic Church. That's the big C Catholic, once again, by the way. So if you're Catholic and you're faithful, you are united to Christ in this life during your time in the church militant, and you will eventually be united to Him in the church triumphant. If you're Catholic and unfaithful and you die in that state, meaning mortal sin, you're going to need a lot of 1,000 SPF sunscreen. But what about those individuals who aren't Catholic during their time on earth? Can they be saved? Can they make it to heaven? That's an entirely different question and the topic of another vortex. But one thing is absolutely certain. If individuals who were not Catholic in this life are in heaven, they will be Catholic in the next. How's that for some ecumenism? After all, and liberals can correct me if I'm wrong, isn't the goal of ecumenism to bring non-believers into the church in this life so they can enjoy an eternity in the church in the next? Or is that a little too old school for the heretics? I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.